Hello, my name is Dana Samalek, and this is my model box design concept for Veronica's room. So the scene I decided to design was Act 2, Scene 1, because at this point in the show, all the tarp is off of the furniture, and we're able to take in the set without it being covered by some sort of fabric, and the audience is able to make connections with it and maybe discover any possible design choices within it. Within it. So, um... Upon reading the play for the first time, I had many like images and ideas and references that popped up in my mind and one thought led to another, which um, brought me to my concept of making the set look like a dollhouse. Um, basically, after many inspirations, like this short story of the yellow wallpaper, which talks about manipulation and um, the painting, The Persistence of Memory by Salvador Dali, a piece that was created during the Great Depression that talks about manipulating reality and the concept of tra uh, time. It all helped me decide that I wanted to trick my audience and manipulate them into thinking the set looks comfortable and warm and just kind of deceive them the way that Susan, the protagonist, is being deceived into the situation, thinking it's all innocent, and then it ends up being a bad situation for her. So. In order to create this false sense of comfort, I relied on the themes of nostalgia. Um, the mood that I was going for was if like in a movie, a character was having a flashback and there's that like dusty yellow film behind the memory, that's the kind of tone that I was going for, the kind of mood. Um, and so while looking for inspiration photos, I was rem reminded of my own childhood. And a big part of that was the toys I used to play, lists, play with, like especially dolls. Um, they're just, they looked flawless and every dollhouse was perfect. So I knew that I wanted my set to be inspired by a dollhouse. So I had to look very like well put together. And with the audience seeing it look so neat and so well and tidy, it creates this false sense of comfort and hope and warmth and like just kind of the nostalgic feel, which um, has a hidden theme of manipula manipulation behind it. So with some of the design choices, um, the furniture I kept true to the 1930s theme. A lot of the furniture is um, like the waterfall furniture. It has more of a like softer curved lines. For example, the vanity on stage, um, stage left is like just a big circle, the bed in the center, curved lines, soft, soft lines, soft feeling. Um, a big part of my set was how color played into it. <clears throat> so the first color that you may notice is the bright yellow wallpaper. Again, it was inspired by the short story, The Yellow Wallpaper, but also uh, the yellow color, um, the color of yellow is a symbol of friendship, which Susan entering this house has a bubbly sort of vibe. And so that kind of like reflects off of that. <clears throat> I also wanted to use a lot of more um, warm tone colors. So like if there was a lighting design, I would have more like orange warm colors. Um, but these warm colors provide a sense of comfort and work nicely with the yellow in general. Um, brown psychologically produces like an organic sense of security and stability. And I felt that the red, um, hints of red like on the chase lounge and the bed, um, it could have multiple meanings as the show progresses. Um, one of the main reasons I chose this shade of red is it's also a the color of memory and like reminiscence, which is something that Susan tries to do. She tries to connect with Veronica and remember her life. Um, and so that was kind of like my color concept. Um, with proportions, I my walls are approximately 15 feet. So I try to make the walls a little more taller and intimidating to make the furniture again look a little bit smaller and the people a little bit smaller. Also to again kind of reflect that dollhouse vibe like we're just little toys in this tiny big room. <clears throat> um, with spacing with the furniture, I ended up making it somewhat of a triangle. So we have like the chase and the lamp and like the side table at, uh, at uh, downstage right, then the vanity and easels downstage left. And then that's the base of the triangle and it points to the bed at the center, um, right below the window. And I think that's like the most powerful point because 
that's kind of Susan's final resting place and it could be just a powerful moment and that's why I chose that triangle shape um with the audience I decided to have the side seat enclosed and only be focused on the center that way the audience can feel somewhat um intimate within the set and feel as though they're within the dollhouse too because it is a confining space I made a box set so it felt you're trapped within the set along with Susan and you're just kind of going through this psychological journey with her. The concept of the dollhouse kind of just came with the fact that the old couple, the woman and the man, are using Veronica for almost their own joy, similar to how a child would take a doll, make a story, dress them up, and make this own world just the same way it reflects kind of the mannerisms of the woman and the man. Um, another thing that I put a little emphasis on, and it's a very small detail, but um, stage right at the side table, I added these little books, and they're like the most pop of color. They're kind of opposite against the warm tone. They're primary colors, so there's like blues there that just kind of pop out. And primary colors just kind of remind people of like childhood colors because it's like the beginning colors that you learn, but I also made them pop out because books can be somewhat of a mental escape from reality. So it's just a tiny little detail. Um, but yeah, that is the concept idea of my model box. Um, <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed hearing about it as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you.